Hello guys, how are you today? Last time we made this assembly. It's, it's an assembly with the two parts and some iLogic rules and iLogic form. It has only the one parameter, that is the length, and we can simply input this value and our geometry is immediately changed because we are passing the parameter from the top level assembly to our parts and also we have there some explicit constraints between the base planes of the top level assembly and our model. Today I want to talk about the output parameters. This parameter is input parameter because we are inputting this value and our geometry is driven by this value. But sometimes you need to get some value out of your bodies and out of your parts and assemblies. That is, for example, the pricing. If you want to know the price of this model, it's a good to add a new parameter, which will be the text and will be called, for example, the display price. So this will be value for our price. Now I can add the new rule, add the rule, which will be called the pricing model and start programming our, our pricing. I will add a new dimension called price as a double precision floating point. And this price value will be equal to length length, uh, length. we can put there something complex like the if statement if the length length is length is longer than a 15 millimeters then add to other price the value the price plus 10 bucks that means our price is equal to length, but if it is longer than 15 millimeters, add there another 10 bucks. At the end, we will add this value to our display price as the as the dollar sign space plus value price. And we can also use the e property value and put this value into the e property st oh, estimated cost, which will be equal to price. So we are doing the uh, two things. We define our variable or our dimension, then make some complex calculation, and at the end, we are inputting this value into our display price and also into the e property. So I will save that and run this. Oh, I made something wrong. Okay. The string. Save and run. Yeah, that's good. Little mistake. Now, if we have our pricing model, we can put our display price into our form. Make there some, some space and make this text box the read only. It means I can't input this value, I can only read that. So, okay. And if you will start up our, our menu and move the slider, you can see the display price is immediately changing. And if we exceed the 15 millimeters, the price will jump up to our 10 bucks. We can also see this value in our e property in the project and there is the estimated cost 10 bucks. So that's it. If you you don't need to have only the input parameters, you can also get the output parameters like is the pricing which can be really complex and is really good to add there some some new rule for drive this parameter. So that's it, it works. If you have any question or you want to know something, just uh, send me an email or tell me that in the comment below. Thank you for all and have a nice day, bye.